welcome to The Purpose Zone. My name is Marilyn Joyce, and if this is your first time joining me in The Zone, feel free to click that subscribe button so that you can join me on a new journey that we're embarking upon here in The Zone this year. For those of you who don't know me, I am a nurse, I'm a disabled veteran, I'm a certified domestic violence counselor, I'm an author, speaker, I've done radio and television. One of the things that I have done the most in my life, I guess my biggest passion, has been to help people create strategies and connect with resources to rebuild their life. I have not only a disability from uh, my service in the military, but I've also in the past been homeless, living in my car with my children while I was working my way through college. I've had a little taste of what it takes to make it when times are tough, when you've had an unexpected setback, when life is not good to you for a while. So join me on this journey while we talk about some of those strategies and while we, while we approach some of the concepts that I have developed and some of the resources that I've had become a part of to be able to share with you. I want you to feel free to leave remarks in the comments below so that I can make sure that we are bringing things along this journey that's going to help you, that's going to meet you where you are. We're going to talk about certain topics like how to rebuild your life one dollar at a time. What are the strategies that you can incorporate in that type of a journey? Is it possible to rebuild your life one dollar at a time? Where are the resources? How are you going to connect with them? What will you do with them and what exactly is out there? In the vein of the domestic violence piece, maybe you have gotten out of a relationship, you've survived a uh, domestic violence uh, experience and, and keep in mind domestic violence relationships do not always involve, involve you being punched or kicked or otherwise abused. You can be psychologically and emotionally abused. You can be spiritually abused. There's all different aspects, many different aspects of the abusive experience. But maybe you got out of a relationship that really wasn't good for you, you survived it, but your partner is still messing with your money. What are those strategies? What do you need to do to get their hands out of your pocket, especially if you were together for a while and they know your birthday, your social security number, your maiden name, your mama's maiden name. They know all the information about you that would allow them to be able to hack you real easy. What are your strategies to deal with that? Maybe you've met Mr. Wonderful or Miss Wonderful. Do you have to have a strategy? If you're in the best relationship known to man, you've met the most perfect person in the universe and everything's going good you know in the beginning it's honeymoon zone it's the honeymoon zone do you really need to have a strategy I think you do and we're going to talk about journalizing your way to the next level that's always part of the strategy so I invite you again to join me in the zone again my name is Marilyn Joyce click on that button below to subscribe and I'll meet you here as we go on this journey to another destination.